Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another iMovie tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to zoom in and zoom right back out just like this. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, let's start with a clean slate here. What I'm going to do is drag a picture down into the timeline. And this can be a picture or a video. But for today's tutorial, let's focus on doing it with an image. So it'll be like a slideshow type thing. In my preferences in iMovie, when I actually import an image, I have them set to four seconds and fit. So you can change this if you want in your preferences, but I like to always have it set that way. So I know when I bring a picture in or an image in, I'm going to get four seconds and it's going to be fit. It's not going to be any Ken Burns or any movement whatsoever. So the first thing I want to do here is try to get the image into an aspect ratio that I like. So I'm going to highlight the clip here. I'm going to go to the cropping tool here. Then I'm going to do crop to fill. And I want to make sure I get my 16 by 9. You know, the usual widescreen look. Okay, I think we'll go about right there. Then I'm going to select this checkbox right here. So now I got the image kind of where I want it. It's still not moving. It's stagnant. What I want to do is kind of zoom in and focus on the front wheel here. And then zoom back out. So the first thing you're going to do is actually set up a Ken Burns. So we'll select the clip here, go back to our cropping tool, go to Ken Burns, and we'll have our start here, but our end, we want to kind of focus on the wheel or the kind of like the front area of the car. That should be good enough, right? I guess we'll make it the center of attention right there. Then you will again, select this checkbox. And now if you look at your clip here, you push play or the space bar on your keyboard. It's going to zoom into the wheel right there. Okay. So that's step one. Step two, what we're going to do is actually put a split or a cut in the video here. You can do a command B or you can use right click and then select this item here. Okay. Now it's still doing the same thing, but we're going to do here is select this clip. We're going to reselect here. Make sure you're still on Ken Burns. And what we're going to do is click this button here, which will swap the start and the endpoints. So it'll be the reverse basically. Okay. And then we're going to do that. All right. So let's have a quick look. So it zooms in and zooms back out. And the cool thing about the Ken Burns effect is you can make this as fast or as slow as you want by just decreasing or increasing. So let's make it fast. Goes there, zooms in. And then it zooms right back out. So if we want to make it a little bit slower, we'll do this. Zoom in. And then a slower zoom out. Again, if you need to make it longer and slower, you can do that. There we go. So depending on the length of the image in the timeline, it's at 3.4 now. You can make this faster or slower as well in the front end. So let's do that. Zoom and then zoom out slow. So as you can imagine, if you're doing a slideshow, with a whole bunch of vacation pictures or, you know, car show pictures or whatever, you can have some cool looking effects here and then do it to music and things like that. So let's pull this back out just a little bit. Zoom, zoom out. All right, let's do one more just to kind of demonstrate. I'm gonna grab this image here, drag it into the timeline. Again, we're gonna to click to select it. We're gonna go up to our cropping tool. And for this image, if it's not in the aspect ratio that you want, you can do crop to fill. And make sure you're getting exactly what you want from your image here. I guess I want to make sure I get a little bit of the background too. So let's do that. Click this little checkbox here. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is select again. This time we're going to click on the Ken Burns. And we're going to find what we want to focus on. And well, let's just find, I guess, the license plate or something. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So again, initially it's just going to zoom into that license plate. If you see any of the hiccup in the video, it's because it's still rendering it. Let's go back. Should be back to normal now. Yep. There we go. So now let's add our zoom back out so you can split the clip pretty much anywhere you want. And then later on we can deal with the fast or the slowness by increasing the, the size of the clip itself. So let's go ahead and split it here. All right, and click on it, go back to Ken Burns and then click on this icon here, which reverses the end and the start point. 
We'll do that and then we'll click on this checkbox here. All right, let's have a look at that. Zooms in and then zooms back out. All right, there we go. Again, if we need it faster or slower, let's do faster. So we'll do a really slow zoom and then zoom back out quick. Or we can do, you know, we can do like a 50 50 thing. Alrighty, well that's it for today's tutorial. I want to thank everybody for watching and as usual, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, comment, all that jazz, and we'll catch you in the next video. Peace and aloha.